Good morning, my name is Jim McElvain. I'm the eCare manager for Optum Batteries, and we're here at the 2019 SEMA show in Las Vegas, Central Hall at the Optum Batteries Grotto at the back of our booth. And we're gonna do a battery teardown with my boss, Cam Douglas, and Larry McCray from Zion Jeep Tours, one of our Optima brand ambassadors. We have a, a live Optima battery here, and what we're gonna do is take it apart and show the construction of the Optima battery and, and do something that you can't do to any other automotive battery. Most batteries are filled with liquid acid, and if I was to do this, it'd make a big mess, so. But the unique thing that we're gonna do here is the tools that we're gonna use to take the battery apart are actually powered by an inverter powered by the battery itself. So the battery is essentially taking itself apart. I'm gonna be assisting a little bit. So Optima batteries are not your typical lead acid battery. It's obvious by the design and the patented spiral cell shape that they have, the six pack, if you will. They're AGM lead acid batteries, so they are lead acid batteries, but they're not the typical flooded lead acid battery where you can shake the battery and you can feel the electrolyte sloshing around. So Cam has put it on a load tester just to make sure that this battery is holding full voltage. It is, it's a 12 volt battery, and it's a common misconception about car batteries that 12 volt batteries should be at 12 volts and it's fully charged, right? Well, that's actually wrong. 12.6 is about full charge for an Optima battery. You can see he's load testing it. The coils are heating up on the back, so the battery is actually delivering current and electricity into that load tester, so it's passing a load test. But Optima batteries are absorbed glass mat lead acid batteries. So the electrolyte in the battery is absorbed into the fiberglass matting that separates the positive and the negative plates. Once those plates are put together, they're rolled up and tightly compressed and inserted mechanically into the battery case itself. So because Optima batteries have this unique AGM design and the electrolyte is absorbed into the fiberglass matting, you can turn it on its side. You can mount it in virtually any position. We don't recommend mounting them upside down because frankly, if you can mount it upside down, you can mount it right side up. Now, if you were to do this with a flooded lead acid battery, as soon as we start prying the lid off and maybe even before that, electrolyte would stop, start pouring out onto the table. Whereas Optima uses a cast strap system with 99.99% .99 pure virgin lead. So now Cam is connected the inverter to the positive and the negative terminal. And the inverter, of course, is connected to the Dremel Moto tool. Cam is now going to start cutting the battery apart using a Dremel Moto tool powered by the Optima battery yeah, itself. Yeah, if you could hold that out, that'd be great. And obviously the battery is still holding voltage enough that it can power this Dremel Moto tool as it takes it apart. So as you see now, Cam is starting to take the exterior of the case apart on this battery. And now you can see that white fiberglass matting that's coming out. That's where we, the electrolyte in the battery that would normally slosh around in a flooded battery is absorbed in the Optima battery. Now these, these cells are exposed. Cam's gonna hook it up to a load tester again, still holding voltage. You see 12.6 volts is, uh, and it's passing load test. You can't do this with test. any other battery. So now Cam's unrolling it. You can see that white separator and there's positive and negative plates there. This is the, the fiberglass mat. It's actually a fiberglass, and that's what retains all the acid. So you're not gonna get any free-flowing acid. Even if the case breaks, it's not gonna spill on your car. It's not gonna be dangerous. But if you're actually to squeeze it, you get a little bit out of it, right? You really don't see hey, it in an automotive application. We got two volt. Absorbed glass mat, AGM. It's that cell volt. is two volt. Two, 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 that makes 12, right? So it still has voltage. Let's see if we can fire up my pal here. And they can overcharge the battery pretty quickly. So the monkey is being powered by the battery still. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks.